What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to another episode of Adventure Time Prospecting. I'm your host, James. Today, we're going to be hitting a little area I did okay on before. Uh, found some bedrock. It's a little bit deep, but I'm going to dig down there to it and try to scrape on some bedrock and see if we can't find a little bit of collar today. Now, this spot's pretty decent. I've, I did okay there the other day. I didn't film. It's some, I went out there kind of just for me poking around. But today, I'm bringing y'all with me, and we're going to see if we can't find a little bit of that gold out here in the hills of West Virginia. Anyhow, welcome to another episode of Adventure Time Prospecting. I'm your host, James, and we will see y'all at the creek bank. Alright guys, here's the area I'm working. As you can see, all this bedrock. Now when this bedrock comes over to this bank, it drops. It drops down. And then flattens out and then it goes way up so I got a hole that's going into the deepest part of it we're gonna work it and we're gonna see if we can't get a little bit of something I'm running a dream mat sluice today two foot long by six inches wide I have an arbor fabricating one eighth inch classifier so let's get to it and I'll show you how this classifier works it's in a nice clay layer folks Look at that good clay sitting right on top of that bedrock. Now the gold can't get no down further than bedrock. And where this clay is on top of bedrock, that's where the gold will get stuck. Just like it's blue. Takes all the big rocks off slick as a ribbon, doesn't it? This here will be the sluice we're using today. This is a dream mat. So, let's see what we can get. Let's stick her in there. Already got the first bucket of material screened down and ready to go. So, let's adventure time prospecting and adventure time on. Oh, check this out. There's one there. And one here. Oh, that's a nice big one. On the board, two fossils. Nice.
That's bucket number one, folks. You can see how fast this sluice will chew through stuff. All those little dimples is where all your heavy's at. So if there's any gold in this sluice, it's gonna be down inside those wee little dimples. Anyhow, let's go get bucket number two. Yeah. I get a lot of questions on how do I know if there's gold in the creek by my house? Well, I classified off a bunch of my material and this is the leftovers. This is the stuff that is larger than one eighth inch. And I'm gonna show you what you need to look for. Number one indicator that there might be gold in West Virginia in your creek or anywhere else that has conglomerates. This is what you're looking for. Round washed, heavy mineralized quartz. As you can see, it's all through here. Rusty pieces of quartz, pieces of hematite and ironstone. This is the stuff you're looking for, folks. Right there. That's the kind of gravels that can contain gold. Now, mind you, you're not going to get rich, but I guarantee you'll have fun. It, I promise you one thing. It's not having the gold. The fun's in finding it. I mean, it's icing on the cake when you find a few flakes of gold in your pan, especially from a state that's not known for gold. But there you have it, folks. Gold's where you find it. And yes, you can find it in West Virginia. Hopefully after watching this video, I'll inspire a few of you to get out while you're hunting and fishing and throw a pan in the creek. In fact, you never know, you might discover a new hobby if you love.
bucket number three, guys. Here we go. I want to give a shout out to one of my friends out there in Wisconsin. Flower Gold Rush. It's a great channel, man. If y'all can, go over and subscribe to him. He's on that flower gold too out there, just like we are out here. You're deaf, and I'll go check him out. Wisconsin Gold Rush over on YouTube. Anyhow, folks, hopefully we're going to get a little flower gold out of this. I worked this spot a while back and did really good on it. Well, really good as far as West Virginia goes. I'm going to go ahead and run five buckets out of this hole. Then we'll take it to the house. See what five buckets gives us. Working off a little of that bedrock down in that hole. You can see how shallow the bedrock is here. That's all bedrock. All kinds of good places for gold on this little creek. That's for sure. This is probably about the most peaceful way of prospecting right here. Ain't nothing like the sound of the crook flowing. Folks, I tell you, don't get no better. Uh, it is a little tough on the bike, though. It's good for you, though. It's good exercise getting out the hills. Be sure to always get landowner's permission before you come out. It's easy enough to get. All you got to do is ask them. They'll either say yes or no, I promise you. But they're not going to kill you and eat you for asking. And always take out more trash than you pack in, folks. Anyhow, I'm going to run this bucket through. And we'll get another one. Back in a minute. Thank you. 
Let's go get another bat, shall we? Tell you what, all my friends up there prospecting in Wisconsin whew, might want to come down south for a minute. Little buddy up there at Flower Gold Wizards and Wisconsin Gold Rush. It's warm down here in the south, y'all. Yeah, I got to thinking. It's the first time I've dug this particular hole since I, since I lost my dad a little over a year ago. So, Pop systems for you. If you can hear me up there, tell mom I said I love her. And you know I love you. So, down here on the earth, doing the best I can. Still scratching around for gold and fossils and air points and whatever I can get into. Anyhow, this video is for you, Mom and Dad. I love you both. <laughs> Boy, howdy, I miss y'all more than I can say. Anyhow, folks, sorry I got all sad on y'all. Didn't mean for it to get heavy. Anyhow, let's get back to prospecting. Yeah. You can see all the heavies caught in this thing. Tell you what, if you're a gold prospector, you don't need no gym membership. I guarantee you that. See, all the light stuff washes right off, and all the heavy stuff stays right down in them little pockets. Look at that. Cleans right out. What a beautiful day out here today, guys, I'm telling you. There's nothing better than getting outdoors. It don't matter if I don't find one tiny little piece of fly poop gold. It's all about getting out here in this beautiful outdoors, folks. Look at this. It don't get much better than that, does it? Now, if you like my videos or what I'm doing, be sure to subscribe to me. It helps you helps my channel out more than y'all know, I'll tell you what. We're quickly encroaching on a thousand subscribers and 
once I get there, we'll be giving a gold nugget away and a bag of pay dirt. I'm going to make a super duper good pay dirt for y'all. Y'all's going to love it. And yes, I'm going to eat and put some West Virginia gold in it for you. So y'all want to stay tuned for that. I never really honestly thought we'd get this many subscribers. I don't know if they'd be too many people wanting to watch a old West Virginia bill we chomp around the chomp around the woods. But I appreciate everyone that watches and subscribes and comments. Y'all's my y'all's my little gold prospecting family out here. That's why I bring y'all along. a little bit of the West Virginia with y'all. I know some of you folks can't get outside. Be it hospital stays or you got bad problems staying in the hospital, can't get out, whatever's going on. That's why I like to bring y'all with me. Because I know if I couldn't get out, I'd sure want somebody to at least take me along on her video with them. It just don't get much more serene than coming out and being out in the woods doing your own thing. It don't get much better, folks. Well, we're going to run this one more bucket here that I'm working on right here. And we're going to pack up, ease on out to the house. We'll classify all this stuff down that comes out of sluice. I'll get it down to about kitchen strainer minus. Something like that. Then we'll pan it out. See if we found any gold. And hopefully I've inspired some of y'all or get some of y'all to get out there and go exploring. We live in a beautiful state here in West Virginia. We live in a beautiful country. I recommend you get out and go see as much of it as you can. Everybody has a life to live, but few people ever really live it, you know what I mean? Everybody's got a life, but very few actually go out and live it. Go on out there and enjoy what, what the good Lord gave us. If you can. There ain't right, nothing else in the world that puts your head right. Just come down by the river or a nice creek. Listen to that water. And it's about the prettiest thing ever. We'll see y'all back in a few. I'm gonna run this bucket, then we'll clean up near the house.
Alright folks, we had about five buckets of material, five five gallon buckets, just like this. Slap full of classified material. That's all we're left with. Right here. Look at them heavy showing up already. Right there. Heavies are already showing up guys. Let's get back this back to the house and classify it down and see what's in it. We'll see y'all at the house. Here we are back at the house, folks. You can see, this is the screen I was talking about. It's about the size of your, <clears throat> excuse me, average kitchen strainer. I just like to get that stuff off there. That way you're not painting all these big heavy rocks. The gold in West Virginia is small, so you want to classify down as small as you can, okay? All right, guys. There's some of that fossilized wood I found today. Really nice. That one's got some crystals in it. Can't really see them because they're wet. But yeah, those are little crystals. 
This one has them too. These crystals are filthy. If anybody knows what kind of crystals those are, leave me a comment. Look at this fossil. That's a cool one. I forget the name of it, but this is actually a fossilized tree root. Pretty sweet. Anyways, that's what it looks like after we classified it down. It doesn't look like it, but this is five five gallon buckets worth of material. Concentrated down to nothing but heavies. That's all that's left. Probably about half a cup. Alright, now. You want to get all the gold, anything heavy, to the very bottom of this pan. So you want to stratify it. Get everything loosened up. Liquefied. That way all the light stuff can go to the top. And your heavies will go to the bottom. Now. You just want to take this light stuff. Just start letting it fall right off the edge here. Nice and slow. Ain't nobody in no hurry. You bring it back and re-stratify it. Go back down there and take another dip. Get some of your lights off. Bring it back. Re-stratify it, guys. Back there, walk a little bit more off. You can see the heavies starting to show up. You don't want to lose them off the edge now. You paying those out, you're a goner. Because that's where your gold's going to be at, down there with them heavier sands. So you want to get much that light stuff off there as you can. Nice and easy. Ain't nobody in no hurry. Bring it on back. See how little bit we're left with? We started with just about a half a cup or so. Now we're down to about a teaspoon. You want to pan it way down before you start looking because the gold is so small here in West Virginia. I'm telling you. You're not going to see it if you leave a bunch in that pan. See how I'm just walking them lights right off? Nice and easy. Just like that. That's a good bit of heavies. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of gold in here. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there's some starting to show up already. See if I can get it for you. A little bit right there starting to show up. Right there, three of them. So if those just popped up, I know there's more. Let me set set this down. Yeah, there's there's more. Four, five, six more of them starting to show up. It's it's all through this stuff. Let me let me clean it up here, folks. All right, folks. Here it is. I'm telling you, if you can find bedrock to work, do it. Cause look at this. That is nice. Look at all those little pieces of gold. Oh, cow. This has got to be the best cleanup so far of 2021. Holy cow. <laughs> Dad, did you put these in my pan for me today? <sighs> I swear. Mom, Dad, if you had a part in this. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Look at that, guys. Look at that. West Virginia gold. There it is, folks. I'm telling you, you're not going to get rich, but I'm also telling you, there's plenty enough out there for the hobbyist to find a little bit of gold and enjoy a beautiful day. Look at that. That's so pretty. Look at that. 
West Virginia gold. That's not. That is not gold. This is gold, as you can clearly tell by the gold collar. Definitely not iron pyrite. That's it for today, guys. Just want to tell you, thank you for coming along with me today. Thank you for watching. Definitely appreciate it if I can earn your subscription today. There's no West Virginia guy trying to have a little bit of fun and inspire people to go out in the great outdoors. That's about it. Anyhow, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm definitely going, maybe this weekend we'll get back out there and dig some more because that's a good spot. And I'm already itching for it. I got that gold fever. Go get it. Get that yellow gold. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next Adventure Time Prospect. And we're going to go out there and we're going to get all the gold. All of it. We're going to get it this summer. All of it we can. <laughs> yeah.